Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey everyone, it is Brian Kaz here, joined by my friend and business partner, Sean Casey. Uh, we have another Wednesday marketing web webinar for you to, to, to today, this time on five different kinds of leads um, and how to best get and use them uh, at the same time. Because oftentimes a lot of people think a lead is just someone, you know, that is looking to buy, buy your product or someone that you can get to buy your product. And uh, there's actually, that's one of the five, but there's a lot of other kinds out there and some can be equally as effective or useful if not more and we'll show you kind of like what are those five and uh, some tips and tricks to uh, get and use those because uh, it's easier um, easier to, 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 to actually do than uh, you might think and of course we'll have uh, plenty of time towards the end for Q&A and such too so if you have any other questions related to this or basically anything that then else related to marketing or, any, or anything at all feel free to uh, ask that in the chat box and um, either we'll basically answer you live towards the end of this call or Sean or Sh Sharon will basically answer you via the, ch ch um, the the actual chat chat box while I'm basically talking so either you'll you'll get an answer there or at the end uh, live so make sure to ask any questions you, you have and of course at the very end we'll give some cash away as well you'll have a chance to win a hundred dollars where we'll actually give that away live um, at the very end of the call and we'll give you some instructions um, on what to do there in just a bit but uh, to give yourself a chance of winning the $100 make sure uh, that first and foremost that you join our free Facebook group which you can get to at getwebfire.com forward slash FB group so again that's getwebfire.com forward slash FB group just click the join sharon will approve you probably within like a minute or, or two, two or so if you do so now and then we'll give you some uh in, instructions at the very end on what to do with that to get a chance to win so without further ado we can get the show on the road once again with five different kinds of leads and how to best get and use them for your marketing so once again we have these calls every wednesday at 2 p.m eastern which is right about now where we'll have uh kind of like either live training or like a q a call um usually like 90 percent percent of these or more will be with myself or sean as most of you know um, but occasionally we'll have a special guest speaker like uh, next week we'll, we'll we'll actually have have a guest speaker um on how to basically uh make sales without having to pay for um any kind kind of ads or anything like that so we thought that was a pretty interesting topic so uh stay tuned for that uh next week at the same uh, time and of course um if you're here or you're registered or you've registered for this series you'll get a reminder each week so you don't for forget but um if by chance you miss one that's perfectly fine because we'll have the recordings in the members area uh usually within about a day of any of any of these calls under the training tab on the left side navigation bar you'll click on training then you'll click on wednesday calls and you'll see the most recent ones at the very top and you can also search through uh old ones as well uh, you can search by keywords so if there's a certain topic of interest uh you can do so and again uh once more if you want a chance to win a hundred dollars make sure to go to our facebook group at getwebfire.com forward slash fb group and we'll basically talk about how you can have a chance to win that shortly here um, now we can move on to the training for this week about uh, all different kinds of leads and how to get and use them, including we'll show off several of the web fire tools and such, which are relevant to the leads and stuff that we'll be talking about. So for the, the, the overview first, I'll basically talk about the five different kinds of leads and how to get and use them. And then we'll show off some examples of web fire tools to, to help. Then we'll do the Q and A and the cash giveaway after that. So, here are the five different kinds of leads. So, uh, the uh, one that most people uh, know and think of are obviously buyer leads. And again, we'll go through each of these one by one in just a bit right here. But there's also potential pr prospects. There's influencers. There's potential leads for paid ads and potential partners as 
well. And again, if you don't understand what half those are, that's fine. Because again, we'll go through each one, one by one. Now, here is a key tip. Don't just look for buyers, as oftentimes there can be a ton more money in other leads. Um, because virtually like 99% of people out there focus all on the buyer leads, which sometimes is oftentimes like the smallest amount of leads out there will be specifically the buyer leads, but that's what like 99% of people are trying to focus on. And they're ignoring tons and tons and tons of other leads that can lead to a lot of money, can lead to even more buyers over time. So we'll start with the most obvious one, and that are, are or and that is basically the buyer leads. Now these are leads where the person is clearly about to be a buyer for either something you sell or something very similar to what you sell. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your exact product. It could be like a competitor's uh, product or something like that. For instance, uh, someone saying that they're looking to buy a diamond ring and asking questions on where to get the best deals online is a great buyer lead for a diamond seller or an affiliate of one. So even if you're just, just an affiliate of one, that's a great lead. If they're basically clearly saying that they're, that they're looking to buy and they're asking a question related to like where they can get a good deal or anything like that, that's kind of the best of the best kind of buyer leads you can get. On another note, someone looking for a review of a product or a service related to one you sell is also a great buyer lead as they're on the cusp of buying. So oftentimes they're literally like on the sales page or even sometimes on the checkout page and they're just looking for like a quick review of a product or a service to make sure it's good or make sure they're you know making the right call or maybe they have like an idea of like a few different options and they're just not quite sure which one they, they want. So someone looking for a review um, literally probably already has at least most of their mind made up or at least has it narrowed down and they're about to buy because like you don't look for a review of a certain product or a service unless you're most likely what looking to buy so you know both both of those cases right there are very good buyer leads out there so there's a couple things that you can do here first you want to take the time to find these leads and i'll show you a demo of that in just 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 a bit but uh you can use a handful of the tools inside of web fire especially the lead tools like the real-time lead finder, the Q&A lead to tool, the rank lead finder, tweet lead finder, so on and so forth. And you can oftentimes find guys literally asking these kinds kinds of questions and such. You can also use them to find, uh, uh, you know, again, people on forums and stuff asking for reviews and all sorts of stuff like that. And then in all these cases, you want to reply to them in a non-spammy way offering value first and foremost and that is crucial right there if you don't offer any value it's much, much more hard um, to get anything back off of that right there so here's a few examples let's say let's say that using the first example i gave right here let's say someone's looking to buy a diamond ring and they say um hey you know what are some of the best stores with the best deals uh, to buy a diamond online um, or, or they um, might, might, might say, hey, what are one or two of the best stores out there to buy, buy a diamond that's a good value and that won't take, take advantage of, of, of you? You could write back saying, although there's plenty of good de deals online, you want to be super careful. Um, you know, here's a few things that you want to watch out for. Um, make sure to look at you know, this, this, and this. Make sure the diamonds are cer 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 certified by this place right here. And in my opinion, um, you know, one or two of the best stores out there are, you know, site A and site B. And um, you, you can even say, I have a full re review of those sites and what specifically to look for uh, right here. And you can have basically a blog post or like a video and you, you can have, you know, you know affiliate links in, in, in there, anything you want uh, like that. You can also do what I call, um, this is kind of like a, little trick that I did way back in, you know, the day where I, I, I was an affiliate for obviously, you know, in this case, the diamond niche, where I would find guys that were um, basically asking specific uh, questions like, hey, do you think this link to this specific diamond is a good deal or not? So it, um, you could see basically the report of the diamond and um, because I knew a little bit about that and really I learned that all with like a couple hours of research and you can be an expert in almost anything. 
lot like that, I would email that lead or, or write that uh, lead saying, hey, based upon um, you know, your budget or based upon what you're looking for, for here, you know, I'd either say, I think this is you know, an okay deal, a great deal or a bad deal, but nine times out of 10, I'd say, hey, this isn't a bad deal right here, but here's a, a couple links to some other diamonds I think are an even better deal um, because of this, this, and that. And of course, the links that I gave them in the email and such uh, would be affiliate links where I'd get paid uh, a cut for every sale there. Um, and you know, these sites would range from paying like a, a few percent up to like 10 or 15% for something that usually would cost thousands of dollars, in some cases, tens of thousands of dollars. Um, you know, that wasn't a bad deal right there. And you come off as being super, super help helpful because you listen to the questions that, that they asked, you addressed it, and you gave them some suggestions uh, based upon that right there. Or if there's a guy asking, hey, what's some good places to buy a moped on online? You could write back saying, hey, if, if you're looking just for like the cheapest deal out there for a legitimately good mo moped backed by a good warranty, I recommend this place right here. And that could, you know, you, you could give it like an affiliate link or anything you want there. Um, or uh, if, um, if, if you're looking for more high, high end stuff, I recommend, you know, one of these bikes right here. Um, or you, you can give like a rough overview and then send them to like a full review or YouTube video you have of all that uh, right there. And what's cool with that is uh, depending upon if you email them or post in like a forum or like a message board, obviously if you post on like a forum or do like a comment on, on like a blog post, you definitely want to come off as not spammy because um, you can get those to, to lead and stuff if they do. Um, but uh, when you post on those sites, instead of just using an, you know, an email, uh, the added benefit there is that oftentimes uh, more than just that lead can see basically the answer that you gave. So over time, instead, instead of just having that one lead, you might have dozens, hundreds, even thousands of, uh, you know, thousands of leads over the course of, you know, weeks, months, or even years to come. And I'll show off a few examples uh, in just a bit with some of the tools on how to get lots of those and how to handle those. The other kind of lead is what I call a potential prospect uh, Leads. And these are basically leads where the person is asking a question related to your niche, but not necessarily one that is directly related to buying a specific product or s service, even though they very well could, could be, um, you, you just don't know quite yet. For instance, someone asking if there's really much, much of a difference between an excellent and a very good cut in a diamond isn't necessarily asking where to buy one but it's a good indicator that they're interested in getting one. So you don't know if they're interested in buying one online. You don't know if they're already, you know, offline at, at a place or if they're just doing research, you don't know, but there's a decent, you know, enough of a chance where, um, you know, they're probably looking to get one at some point uh, that's worth basically taking the time to help them basically answer them. Or someone basically asking what is the best way to lose weight fast is a good prospect for a weight loss product, even though they're not necessarily indicating that they're a buyer. So they're not saying, hey, what's a good weight loss course or what's a good, you know, piece of exercise equipment that I can get for this or or that. I mean, those are more of like a buyer lead. Um, in this case, uh, if they're just saying, hey, what's a good way to lose weight fast, um, you know, they might be willing to buy some kind of a weight loss product or pill or exercise equipment or a course or anything like that, but you don't know yet. Um, but there's still a decent enough, essentially, prospect that is worth your time uh, to try to help them out. But here's why. Um, it's because the key here is to find basically prospect leads and leave replies on places like forums, blogs, Q&A sites, and so forth, where it's highly likely that your response will be seen by lots of others instead of just by a single prospect. And you can use the exact same tools that we just mentioned in the prior case here as well inside a web fire. And again, I'll show off a handful of those um, in just a bit right here to kind of show how you guys can use those uh, to right here. But you get you know, you know, another example would be like, let's say you're an affiliate for 
a moped, someone might ask the question like, hey, what is the difference between a 50cc engine and a 150cc engine, uh, which basically is like how much power it does and, and, and whatnot. And you could give like a simple re reply like, um, like, hey, a 50cc engine is basically a weaker engine, but perfectly fine. Um, you know, if it's a single driver that weighs less than X amount, whereas 150 or 100 cc engine or whatever it might be is basically better if you want to go faster or if you weigh more than X amount or if you have a passenger with you. Um, so that's a simple answer right there. But then you can follow it up with saying, you know, if you're looking for just a simple 50 cc engine for like, you know, around the college campus or something like, like, like that. Um, here's a model or two that I think are a really awesome deal and give like links there, which could be your, you know, your, your, your affiliate links. Or if you're looking for um, the better engine, uh, here's one or two that I think would be a pretty good fit uh, for you right there and give like a link or two there. So in that case, you're answering the question, but you're going a step further and helping them out even more, um, which comes off as you being super nice. It's not just, hey, here's here's a link by this. It's you're helping them and you're taking it a step further and saying, hey, based on your questions, here's what I think would be the best deal here and the best deal here or the best model here or the best one here. Um, so you're being super, super useful and people love that because you don't come off as just trying to make a buck off them. You come off as being super help helpful. You can also basically take this to the next level by creating lots of content and videos and stuff, answering specific questions in your niche that have a good chance of getting ranked so you can then lead these prospects to you as well. So you don't have to actually wait to find these kinds of leads with the lead tools and such. Obviously, I recommend you do that, um, but you can also basically take it um, a notch up and do some blog posts, create some videos. And again, you can do all that with uh, several of the actual tools and stuff inside of Webfire, but um, like you can create lots of videos with the video Firestorm tool. You can optimize um, you know, all your content and make blog posts and stuff like that. And if you actually target the question in the title of the blog post or in the title of the video, that has a good chance of getting ranked for when people type the question into Google looking for an answer. So if, uh, yeah, like using the moped as an example, you can say, what is the difference between a 50cc engine and a 100cc engine or whatever it might be? Um, and, uh, and, then, and then have next to it say, um, you know, the simple answer. Um, so people will see that, like, hey, that's the same question I have. They have a simple answer right here. I'm going to click through and read and see what that's all about right there. Then you can simply answer them and take it a step further and give suggestions on, depending upon which one they, they, they want, what might be a good site or a good model to get, which would be through your affiliate link uh, right there. And you can probably brainstorm in, in any niche. If you just sat down and honestly thought about it just a little bit, you could probably come up within like five to 10, 10 minutes, at least 10 to 20 questions. If you sat down for like an hour, you could probably brainstorm like 50 or more questions easily. And it's not like you have to rank for, for those overnight or anything like that. But if you did even like one a week, which takes you literally like, you know, I mean, to make a video ans answering that could be only like a few minutes. If you want to create a blog post, even if it takes like you know, like a half hour a week, that's not, bad and over time you can start to rank for a lot of the questions that these people might have which kind of acts like a spider web and basically grabs a lot of prospects out there so you don't have to wait to find these leads online which you certainly can use a lot of our tools to actually find them online you can actually proactively do stuff to grab the leads out there as well to rank for all these questions and stuff out there that all lead back to your suggestions or your site or your affiliate links or whatever uh, it might be right there so it takes some work but it can have a drastic payoff right there but first and foremost you want to always make sure and this is the number one mistake i see guys do you want to always make sure that you provide value first and foremost actually answer the questions that people have and only after that go on to suggest you know what some of the best deals out there might be and such so always make sure to answer the questions that the people are searching for and that they're specific and that they're specifically asking first um, and then you'll have uh, probably a lot of
luck uh, with this right here. The next kind of leads out, out there are ones I call influencer leads. These are leads where someone has either like a big following or big audience, uh, like well-known well blogs in, in your niche, social me me media accounts with uh, lots of followers, videos with lots of views, so on and so forth. You can find these leads using some of the tools within Webfire, like the guest blog tool or the tweet lead finder. And the cool part with these is like um, using the, the guest blog tool and such, you can do a search and it will not only show you um, all the blogs in your niche that accept guest blog posts, but it will also do a breakdown uh, based upon their Alexa ranking or basically how um, popular the site is. Like if it's in the top 10,000, it will have basically a number 10,000 or, or, or less, which tells you it's probably a big site with lots and lots and lots of views there. Um, and that gives you an idea that, hey, if it's a big site, it's probably a big influencer and you might want to reach out and possibly do a blog or a guest blog post or something there. Or using the tweet lead finder tool, you can actually search for keywords in, in, in your niche and you can actually click on um, essentially a button I'll show you in just a little bit. You can click on a detailed one and you can see how many followers and stuff they have to see, hey, who is basically a big influ influencer in this field that currently is talking about this topic right there. So you can quickly and easily see who basically the bigger accounts are. Or, you know, you, you can also look on YouTube and see which ones have like the, the most views or go to, um, you know, Facebook pay, pay pages and groups and stuff like that and just see which ones are larger um, and join those. In fact, if you just go to um, facebook.com right now and you log in, um, you can do a search and instead of looking for people, just click on groups or pages, um, you know, especially groups, and you can see based upon key keyword a whole, a whole bunch of groups uh, right there and it will tell you how many members um, are in each one right there. So you can see who has a large influence and you can reach out um, to the, um, essentially the admin or the owners of that uh, to try to make a deal uh, with, with them right there, whether it be a paid ad or you know, a, a cut for sale or any kind of thing you want like that. Because oftentimes there's a lot of people um, that have a lot, of, um, a lot of people in their group or a lot of follow, followers and stuff like that or a lot of views on their videos, but don't necessarily monetize it. Um, so for like 50 bucks or, or so, sometimes you can get like paid ads and stuff there uh, and get basically a, a pretty good good ROI uh, that no one else thinks to do. Um, and that's just because, again, a lot of people might have a lot of influence, but don't necessarily monetize it well. You can then reach out to these leads either di directly and, again, offer to do stuff like a guest blog post, offer free products or services for them to re review. So again, you can even offer them stuff for, for, for free um, in exchange for like a simple re review, knowing that they'll have a lot of people that can see it um, and possibly be convinced to buy your product or even offer to pay them to mention your product or s service. And there's plenty of examples of this being done on both a small as well as a huge scale, um, in some cases worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, you know, on the smaller scale, as I said, you can reach out to, to, to those that have, um, you know, a, a, a Facebook group or a blog that accepts guest blog posts and stuff like that and get, you know, oftentimes like thousands and thousands and thousands of people, in some cases, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands or millions of people seeing your stuff. Um, but on a larger scale, you see this all the time, especially with celebrities. You'll, you'll see them, they'll like uh, show off, um, they'll sh show off stuff like, um, uh, like maybe a new like makeup lineup or a new kind, kind of wardrobe or they'll play like cer certain games that they'll show off or they'll re review various products like, a, like um, a, an excellent example would be with the Kardashians, um, especially I think the Kendall one um, has been like a major influencer and has done deals where there's hundreds of millions of dollars made off the products that she basically talks about on her account and stuff. So that's worth a fortune uh, to a lot of people right there. I mean, you can't really even pay to have like a TV ad 
that will will get sometimes a anywhere near the publicity that some of those uh, can actually send send you. In fact, there's been an you know you know entire brands that have launched by just having one big influ influencer basically talk about it. Like um, like even like the uh, Fubu cl clothing chain basically originally launched by having a rapper wear their stuff, um, and they went from essentially being like a no name place to essentially a billion dollar bi business very, very quickly uh, right there. So obviously, you know, it's kind of rare to have a huge deal like like those, but you can easily do this on a larger scale by just, again, reaching out to these sources right here and using basically the tools mentioned uh, to find those. Uh, the other kind of lead that you, you can look for are potential ad spot leads. Now, these are leads where you can find sites and such that would be basically great for paid ads that can reach a lot of people, oftentimes very cheaply. Uh, you can, uh, again, find a lot of these lead leads using some, some of the previously mentioned tools like the guest blog tool, or you can also use Webfire's competition backlink tool, which essentially will show you um, you know, where your competitors are getting their traffic from, and then you reach out to them to instantly inquire about paid, paid ads and such, knowing that if your competition is using them to get a lot of traffic, there it's, you know, probably a good bet that they could help you as, as well. Now, it's not always super sexy as a lead, basically asking to buy something from you, but some of these leads can turn into tons of buyers when used well. So like, for instance, using the backlink tool inside a web fire, if you know, like, let's say, let's say you know who your competition is. Um, if you can spy on them use, using this right here um, and see that, hey, they get, um, you know, a, a lot of the traffic from these, you know, top 10 or 20 sites, um, you know that, hey, it's probably worth your time to try to reach out to those sites instantly, which you can do with the tool uh, to see, um, you know, what's what and see, you know, if you can possibly make a deal with any of those sites right there to have an ad or anything like that. So you can get leads of basically traffic sources for your competition um, and reach out to them right there. Because again, uh, one or two decent deals uh, right there can be a, a good amount of sales for you, even though it's not nearly as se sexy as a lead basically asking, hey, I'm looking to buy your stuff right now. Uh, you can get a lot more sales oftentimes through this right here. And the last kind, uh, which is a huge one, I think is like way overlooked, is what I call potential partner leads. Uh, these are leads where you find individuals, sites, or basically other businesses that you could potentially partner with in one way, shape, or form. Oftentimes, one of the best ways to do this is to offer to white label your products or services for, for them while giving them a massive cut of the sale, all while handling all the support and other hard work. Um, and just as a side note, for those of you that, that, that are asking what a white label is, it's basically where you take a product or service of yours, or even one that you outsource, like you don't have to do the work your, yourself. But Basically, it's where um, uh, you basically allow someone else to sell your product or service for whatever they want, um, or you offer them like a huge cut of um, you know what you know your normal prices or anything like that. I'd say you know usually you only get these deals done if you offer a minimum of half. Um, you know there are exceptions to to the rules in both ways, um, but it's basically a way where you say, hey, you know, I see, I see you're, you're in this niche here and you have, you know, an awesome product or a following here. But, um, you know, if you think that, uh, you know, your guys might be interested in a product or a service like mine, I'll let you white lay, label this, which means they can call it their own. So they basically brand it towards them if they want. Um, and then, uh, you basically get uh, paid for basically offering your product or service to them to uh, use. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind here. First is you can use a lot of the tools like the competition backlink tool, which we just mentioned about, to reach out to the competitors and their traffic sources to see if they'd be interested in such a deal to start with. And they don't always have to be direct competition either. So you don't have to reach out to your 
competitors, you can also think of it like this. Like, let's say you're an SEO firm, or let's say you do SEO. You can reach out to, to web de design firms, and it can be like a firm, it can be a business, it can be a person, anyone that does this, or and, and, and anyone that does web de design. And you can basically say, hey, I see you build uh, lots of websites for, for your guys. I'm sure a lot of them are probably interested in SEO. Um, if you would want to offer an SEO service through you, um, I'll let you white li label my, my uh, service right here where I do this, this, and that. Um, this is the cut that you'd get right here. You can have it be branded towards you and blah, blah, blah. Um, or you can do the exact opposite where if you're a web de designer, you can reach out to like an SEO firm. Um, and in all cases, again, you want to make sure that you try to do as much work as possible for, for them, make it as hands free, free as possible and offer a decent cut right there. Another example is, um, let's say, um, let's say you're an internet mark marketer. Okay. And let's say you have a course on, um, how to make money off of Instagram. Okay. So let's say you've made some money on Instagram. You create a course where others can do exactly what you just did. Um, but let's say you don't have a huge following yourself, but you know, your course is good. You know, it can help a lot, lot of people and you know, a lot of people would be, be interested in it, you can reach out to several larger mark, marketers out there and offer uh, them to sell basically your product as theirs and feature your case studies and all that uh, right there, uh, where they get a good cut of all the sales and you'd get a cut as, as, as well right there. That can be a win-win deal right there. Uh, because the cool part is just one of these leads can, can be worth, worth a massive amount of money to you. Because again, potential partner leads that have a huge market share can make a ton of money for, for you. In fact, one good deal can make an entire business all by itself. Yet it's one of the least utilized lead types out there. Most people completely ignore this one, even though a single lead can literally make an entire business by itself. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of these like um, larger market share holders and a lot of these niches that have a big following, but they don't have enough time to create tons and tons and tons of products. They can market them, they can email their, their, their list, they can add them on the back end, but they don't have time to make all these new products or they don't have all the ideas. So you can set yourself up uh, easily with, with these guys. And the cool part is it's not like if you email one guy and they don't make a deal, who cares? You can email 10. You can email 20, you can email 50 or 100 guys, and eventually you will land a deal there, especially if you go about this the right way. Now, here's a pro tip to increase your chances. The more work you ask them to do, the less likely you'll get a deal done. Same with the less of a cut that you offer them as well. So if you get like super, super greedy and say, hey, I'll give you a 10% per percent cut, you can sell my stuff, they won't even write back. It's a laughable insult. Um, you know, it's kind of like saying, hey, I have an idea uh, to make a competitor to Disney World. And I'll tell you what, I'll let you keep 10% of all the money, but you have to fund the entire thing. You have to build the entire thing. You have to do all the advertising and all the marketing, but I have an awesome idea. So I know it will do real well and you should be really excited to invest millions of dollars in it. You think that deal will get, get done? No, you'd get laughed at. You probably wouldn't even get responded to. Um, in fact, I know you wouldn't get responded to. Um, Whereas, you know, if you have, have a deal and say, hey, you know, I have this cool, uh, um, you know, this very awesome course or very awesome tool you know, on Instagram or all this or whatever it might be. Um, I see you have a big following here. Um, here's an example of what, what this does. If you're interested in selling this as your own, you know, I'd be happy to give you this huge cut right here. Um, I'll just take this smaller cut here and I'll do all the work in the back end, you know, I'll, I'll do, do, do the su support, um, I'll do any sales page or, or web design stuff you, you want, just basically offer to do everything. So it's super hands-free because the more work you ask them to do, the more they're, they're like, well, gee, I can just like kind of copy the same thing and basically do it myself with, you know, not having to do 
um, you know, that much work, work either. Whereas if it's all hands free, the mindset is, man, I don't even want to think of copying that all myself because I don't have the social proof yet. I don't have the web page, I don't have the product. Whereas I can just make a deal with this guy, have it be completely hands free, not have to worry about anything. And I can market this within like a week or so. That's a pretty good deal uh, right there and can work very, very, very well. But I rarely see people take advantage or even try to do these kinds of deals, even though anyone can. I mean, even if you don't have a product yet, you can create a service of your own very easily. You can create a product of your own very easily. You can outsource a product very easily. You can outsource even a service very easily as well. So you can have services almost overnight with social proof and all that, and then reach out to basically others out there to do a white label deal with. So it's very easy to actually do these kinds of deals almost overnight um, if you actually take the time to take advantage and do the stuff uh, right here. So with that, I'm just uh, about to pause the screen for a second here as I just go to show off um, some of the tools that we actually talked about inside of WebFire. We won't have time to show all of them off, uh, but I just want to show off some um, just with like the, the leads and a few insider tips and uh, tricks with those right there. So just going to pause for a second. All right. Do, do, do. All right. So uh, we'll start with um, that one right there. So I, I basically talked about the backlink tool, which you can find um, if you go to SEO and keywords, then go down to where it says backlinks, you'll go to this right here. And you can either type in just a keyword or you can optionally also type, type, type in a website like their competitors um, or anything like that. In this case, I did mobile auto responder. And then it will, it will show you where most of the traffic comes from right there. Um, and uh, you can also see what their competition looks like as well. Uh, so you can see right here, you can just uh, see they have 54 backlinks right here. You can click on show backlinks. And it'll pull up that info right there, assuming I'm still logged in right here. Might, might, might need to double check that really, really quick there. Um, and then what you can do, which is quite neat, after you get all the backlinks there, um, you can pick basically any ones that, that you want. Uh, you can check those off and you can click the red button right here um, to instantly email those guys to essentially inquire. So I'm, I'm just going to pause the screens because I might need to re-sign sign in right here. I had these saved up here, but it's possible I didn't. Uh, it's been too long. Um, so I will do that really quick. So I just paused in the background. Yep, I need to re-sign in, that's why. And just need to refresh that. All right. There we go. So uh, yeah, I just had to re-sign in because I had it uh, saved up there prior to this call a bit. So. Uh, when I re-signed in, this pulls up real fast. Uh, again, all you have to do is just, um, you can, if you want, actually, you can contact any of the competitors right here. Just click essentially the contact right here, check off the relevant email, then click um, contact all check, check addresses right there. Or again, you can click show, show, show backlinks for any of the competitors as well. And it shows that all uh, right here. And you know, we through like there's some that might be kind kind of spammy, but you can quickly and easily, um, you know, see kind of like what's what um, right there. And uh, you know, say hey, you know, if if you know that these are their top, you know, backlinks, you might say hey, this might be a place that's worth looking at right here. And you can reach out to, to those guys with a click of a button you can also again reach out to the competition now right here again if you're offering to do like a white label type type deal this is a great way to get lots of contacts right here or if you're basically offering to um 
uh, see if they have any guest blog posts or anything like that, you can do that. If you want to, to inquire about paid ads or anything like that, you can do that as well, all within right here. Um, another one, and this is, I'll probably have to refresh this really quick. Uh, for the Tweet Lead Finder tool right here, you want to go to social, then just go down to Tweet Lead Finder. Uh, this is a great way where, again, you can use this to find a variety of different kinds of leads and stuff. Like if you want to find a buyer lead, um, you can find lots of people basically asking for like a, a unique gift idea. Uh, um, so you just click, you basically type in a bunch of keywords that you want to look for, um, then you want to cl click on leads. And uh, you can see all sorts of pe people asking, um, you know, what they want to basically get. Uh, um, and again, especially uh, prior, prior to, um, prior to like uh, a ho ho holiday or stuff like that, you'll get a lot more of like, um, you know, what should I get for, um, you know, Christmas or what should, should I get for Valentine's? Valentine's Day, um, like here's one, need a good gift gift idea for something custom, custom made. Um, you can weed through these very quick, quickly and easily and, and reach out and help if you have something that lines up uh, right there. That'd be an example of um, a pretty good buyer lead right there. Uh, you can also, um, another example of not just a buyer lead, but maybe, um, maybe one that would be more of like a prospect lead that's in your niche, but not necessarily buyer would be the speeding ticket example right here. So you can find a bunch of leads right here of lots of people that are complaining about how they got a speeding ticket. Um, so we can scroll down here. Um, so, so this person just got, looks like a speeding ticket in their lunch hour for only going five miles per hour over. That kind of sucks. Um, and what you, you can do right here is again, they're not necessarily a buyer, but guess what? If you have a course or you're an affiliate for a course on how to get out of a speeding ticket, this is a pretty good prospect right here. So you can click the re reply and you can basically say, you know, hey, it sucks that you guys speeding ticket. Um, here's a blog post or here's a video uh, uh, out, out, out there that helps give a bunch of info on how to get out of a speeding ticket ticket or anything like that. And then on the video or the blog post you have, you can give some tips right there. Again, value first and foremost. And then towards the end of it, maybe give an affiliate link or a link to your product uh, where it's basically a course or a service where it guarantees them to get out or their money back or something along those lines uh, right there. So that's kind of um, a neat thing uh, right there where you can find all of these leads and instantly reply back to them with a click of a button. Um, and as a side note too, I explained at one point that you can see um, on this tool right here, you can see how many followers and stuff they have. So if you want to look for like influencers or stuff like that, you can click here. Or I meant click here where it says to dis display. And you can see how, how, how many friends and followers and stuff that are right there. Um, you can click on any of them just to get like an idea right there. And you'll see like some will, will be small, some might be huge. Um, I guess this is a, you know, larger than the following two, but some could, could be in the thousands or tens of thousands at times. Um, and some might be like a good one if you wanna do like, an, if you wanna find influencers and stuff. So many of these different kinds of, of uh, tools out there, you can find different kinds of leads um, and such there uh, too. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, right here is the real-time lead finder. So in this case, if you're in, in the weight loss niche and you want to find like prospects and stuff that are asking questions on weight loss or how, how, how to lose weight, you can basically type in a you know term like lose weight or weight loss or diet or anything like that. And you'll find all these sites right here with all sorts of people basically talking about losing weight and such. I mean, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of them right there. And you can click on any of them on the left and go straight to the site in question and leave a post, a comment, or a reply on those sites, knowing that these are fresh leads uh, from right now on these sites. And you can get uh, not just the people asking those questions and basically talking about it now, but over time, you can get lots of people um, see, seeing those, which can really add up to a lot of money over time uh, right there. Now, similar to that, 
is uh, the ranked lead finder, which again, um, this is also good for more of like a prospect to type lead. You can sometimes get some buyer leads here too, uh, where again, in this case, if you type in a term like weight, weight loss, um, you'll get all these sites that are ranked on page one of Google, Yahoo, or Bin that you can leave a post, a comment, or a reply on, meaning you can get literally free page one rankings or free exposure from page one rankings within minutes uh, that you can quickly leave a post, a comment, or a reply on. So you can see right here what keywords they uh, rank for, what their ranking is on that uh, page. Like here's one ranks number one on Google, um, and you can leave a post, a comment, or a re reply on that. These are all ones that it only shows the ones that you can leave a post, a comment, or a re reply on. Shows the estimated amount of searches each month. Um, so. This is a great way to, if someone's ask, asking basically a question on green tea weight, weight loss right here, or they're basically talking about it, you can start to um, get your site, get free exposure for your site out there and start to draw a lot of those leads uh, into you. So this is another thing that you know takes a little bit, bit of work over time. It's almost like a spider web um, that can help grab a lot of stuff. Uh, we also have the Q&A lead tool right here and all of these lead tools are basically un, un, under the leads except for the tweet lead finder which is under the social because it's a social one um, but for the q a one it will search q a sites for people asking questions which can get ranked really well in google and yahoo and such in this case let's say let's say your niche was the bitcoin niche like you had some product on that or some service or a site or something on that you could type in a keyword like Bitcoin or basically anything related to what you have and find all sorts of people asking questions um, related to, to that right there, where you can basically take a minute or two to basically answer them, knowing uh, that you can get a lot of um, free free rankings and stuff uh, off of that and draw and basically drive a lot of traffic anywhere uh, that you want. Now, related to the method here, instead of waiting to find a question out there, like you see, like lots of people are asking stuff like how to buy bit, bit, Bitcoin, how to get Bitcoin, how to, how to get paid in Bitcoin. People asking basic kinds of questions like that. You can go out and create blog posts on those. You can create videos on those, even uh, using, you know, things like, you know, you know, the video firestorm right here to just get a lot of content out there that, that can start to basically grab grab and capture these leads you can even do some keyword re research if you go under seo and keywords um, go to the keyword tool right here and see like what kinds of searches people are searching for or what might be easier or more hard to uh rank for pick a handful of the easy ones and turn those into blog posts and videos and such and have a much easier time of getting ranked for those and again that's on top of using the lead tools and such right here to not only find possible buyers out there that are asking buyer type uh, questions out there or asking for re reviews and stuff in fact um, a cool thing that you can do right here even um, for for the real-time lead finder is you can even do like a term like looking to buy I sometimes do this just to basically research what people are looking for and it can give you an idea of what's out, out there and like what um what has to be searched for and whatnot we can come back to that in a second right there you can also do um you know not just that but uh what, one thing we talked about was um the guest blog tool as as well which that was under i think they actually had that on under leads because it's leads of guest blog sites you can go go there and that is basically a way for for you to find um you know all 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 the places that you you can do um you know guest blog posts on and such and as it looks up that it looks like maybe it kicked me out again so i'm gonna i wonder if they're doing work on that or something now just going to re refresh that and see so i know they were doing do, do, doing an update um but yeah you i'll know, check that really quick right there and in the meantime too as i do those if you guys have any questions in the meantime sean you can feel free to shout those out uh right there and we'll answer those as we refresh these two pages right here as it's hey brian one of the guys was yeah. asking um if you can 
uh, limit the competitor backlink search, like to the UK, for example? Um, it does, so um, you could have, like what you could do, there's like basically work around on that. You could do, let's say, um, you could basically type in a competitor that's a UK one, and it will show where their backlinks are from, um, but it won't necessarily be backlinks only from the UK, because like, let's say you have a competitor that you know is in the UK. If you type in their site, and let, let me just pull up the backlink tool. Yep, right here. Um, if you type in their site, like whatever that might be right right, right, right here, um, you don't really care if all the traffic comes from a UK site or a different site. If there's a non-UK site that is sending them a lot of traffic, you still wanna pay attention to that right there, because if they use it, chances are there's a reason for, for that um, right there. So that'd be kind of like basically they work around with that, but you can't, there's not currently a way to say exclude basically the backlinks that aren't specifically from uh, the UK, because I don't particularly think that that would necessarily be useful. Um, but if there's a reason why that might, we can uh, possibly look into that uh, right there. And it just like it, it uh, right here in the background, it, it loaded the guest blog tool right here. Um, and that was just the one that was saying that if you want to find like places that you, you can do a guest blog post on, you basically type in any kind of keyword you want. Like if you were in the weight loss niche, you would type type in that. Um, and then um, you could do, like in this case, I just do guest bl bloggers, then it will do a search to find all the blogs in, in your niche that you can do a guest blog post on. Um, or if you click here, this is like a pre-sorted list that we have of like a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different niches and stuff like that. Although, you can search for unlimited ones almost uh, right here. Um, and yeah, let's see, what was the other, I think there's one more search I had, but I forgot where I moved that. Oh yeah, right here. So we did the looking to, to buy right here. Uh, so when we did that search, and if we put that in quotes, it'll find all these leads where people say what they're looking to buy, all sorts of things, like here's one, that is looking to buy a new phone with a budget of $500. Um, so if you were an affiliate of a phone place, uh, you could say, hey, here's a re review I have of all the, the phones that are less than X, X amount right here. You can kind of basically push them uh, for, for that. Here's a person looking to buy a premium quality tank bag for their Har Harley. I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> I'm not really a bike guy. There's a person that wants roll up do doors again. Um, all sorts of great leads. This is just a great way to get like lots and lots of different leads. Here's a person um, looking to buy a house. That's kind of cool right there. Um, so that's a premium lead right there. And again, you can just get a lot of ideas right here. And if you want to pin, and just, I mean, again, there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of them right here. Um, and uh, if, and again, you can pinpoint that down by just, you know, the past month or past week or anything you want uh, right there. You can also, if you want to, basically narrow it down. Um, like if you're in a broad niche and you want to add like a keyword like TV or LCD or anything like that, you can add that on and just have like, I wouldn't have the entire phrase phrase in quotes right there, but you can have some in quotes. Um, but because keep in mind, the more you narrow the search, the less leads you'll get. And you'll, you'll, you'll want to brainstorm at least a few different kinds of leads um, or a few different kinds of keywords I'd search for right there, but you definitely can find lots, lots of buyers uh, through stuff like this too. Um, any other questions before we give some cash away and talk about that stuff? Yes, John asked, how do I get leads on autopilot? Oh, so what you can do on that is, so you can use any of the lead tools you want here, uh, but if you want to have the leads come to, to you or you be alerted to them each, each uh, day, you can actually, save the search. So any of these lead tools right here, you can click uh, save and it will automatically search for you every day. And it will alert you to the new leads found uh, right there. So um, automatically you can get a bunch of leads. And on top of that too, if you proactively do some extra stuff, like if you uh, create like videos and blog posts like that out there that are basically targeting these kinds of questions and such. Again, every day you can get a lot of leads out there that your web essentially captures 
and you bring those leads in that way as well. But I mean, any, any of the tools right here, you can do a save search. Um, you know, I would probably have it be like a more narrow search if you want to like narrow it down and it can get like a lot of good quality leads on any of these leads tools right here, which is a great way to get lots of leads or, or even like, let's say for uh, the tweet lead finder one, let's say that you were a chiropractor or you had a product on back pain or anything uh, like, like uh, that. Uh, um, you can find lots of leads, again, of people complaining about back pain right here. Um, and again, tons and tons of leads every day, probably hundreds of thousands a day of people in back pain. And if you were working for a chiropractor or you were, you know, a, let's, let's say a local one yourself, you can even pinpoint this down to a local area say within like, I probably wouldn't do within a mile, but maybe within like, you know, 10 or 15 miles or 25 uh, miles or so, you can find all the people in, in your local area complaining about back pain. Then you can reach out to, to, to them saying, hey, that sucks. It sounds like, you know, your problem might be this or that. I'm a chiropractor in your local area here. I'd be happy to take to take a quick look or, you know, we, we, have, we have a special uh, half off the, the first appointment or anything like that. Uh, that that you want, um, you know, right there. That can be a great way to again get lots of leads on, on almost complete autopilot right there too. Especially if you save uh, the searches. Anything else, John? Before we move on to get some cash away. Well, let's tell them where to go so they can get into the Facebook group, and then we have uh, another couple questions for you. All right. So with that, um, uh, what you have to do to have a chance to win a hundred dollars live, you have to go to get web fired dot com forward slash fb group which goes to our free uh facebook group page click essentially join right now if you're not all ready a free mem member and uh then sharon has a post at the very 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 top basically asking what you thought of to to to, 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 to today's call and if you leave any comment within that post right there um, you'll get a chance to win 100 bucks live where we'll actually do the drawing live. Or if you have any suggestions for like a future call or anything like that, uh, you can feel free to do so as well. And I'll show you like here's the page right here. Just scroll down, you'll see a post from her uh, asking uh, what you thought of today's call. Maybe I didn't refresh that. All right. Do I have the date? Oh, um, Sharon, do you have the uh, proper one up there? Oh, okay. Looks like a person just left 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 a comment in in, in the wrong one. So I read the wrong one. Um, so this there's is the no, one. Right well, here. there's one at the top that says 50 yeah. minutes ago. So. Yeah, that would be and today. One, yep, but there's one above that from last week that people are posting at. So I think someone we're, got we're doing that to confuse you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that was and it's week. working. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you can try to post on under the uh, proper one from today, it will say 50 minutes ago right here. Um, I will count the uh, the ones that post here too. That's fine. Um, but uh, you just go here. You click on comment. And you leave any comment you want right there, and we'll pick a random one, um, and we'll do the drawing live in a couple minutes right here. In the meantime, Sean, are there any other questions or anything? Um, yes. So um, John was asking, what's the total value by which he meant in the lead section, where something will show how many leads you have, and it'll show the total value, and you can set in those lead tools the value of leads to you because we have some default settings, but you need to update those based upon what the value of a lead is. If you're selling, you know, luxury cars that cost $100,000, you're going to have less leads, higher value. If you're selling uh, weight loss products where you're selling a lower price weight loss product, then you're going to have way more leads, but a lower per lead value, right? So you'll, you'll need to set that. But it does the math for you, so you can kind of just see what the value is for what you're getting and, and where to, to best focus your efforts. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, and I'll, I'll in fact, I'll show you really quick on that. Let me find a, a lead. Yeah, on. and so while you pull that up, um, somebody else was asking, what if I just want to promote affiliate offers? How do I find those leads? Same concept, leads Same are point. leads. Whether it's your affiliate product, or an affiliate product like for weight loss or your own weight loss product, you're doing the exact same thing. It's just where you're sending them. Uh, in this case, you probably aren't sending them directly to an affiliate page, although you could in many cases. But, but if not, you send them to your website where you've just got a, a simple pre-sale page like, hey, we, we researched and found the very best weight loss program on the Internet, and this is it. It's XYZ, and here's why, and here's what people say, and here's the testimonials from their success stories, and click here to go get it. Brian, show them. Yep. And uh, right here, um, for the majority of the lead tools, like, um, for instance, um, you know, he's basically saying there's a value on the right side, and that's an estimated value based upon um, what you say the value of a lead is right there. And the value of um, some, some, some of these, like a, a ranked one, is worth a bit more because the rankings tend to stay for a, a long time. But all you basically do, uh, you just click on any of these where it says custom lead re results. And then like right here, just be right here. You click that and you can change this right here. So it says, what is the value per buyer? So in this case, if I was selling like, let's say a $50 weight, weight, weight loss course, I'd probably say 50 bucks. If I was selling like a $5,000 ma massage chair, the value of a buyer would be about $5,000 or what, what, whatever you know, it would be for, for you. And then you say, what is the average con con conversion rate on, on your site? Like, is it 1%, is it 2 is it 5 Are you really, really, really good? Uh, you can say what, what, whatever you want, want there. And then you can guess as to what the average click-through rate to your site would be. Um, so it's like if if you have you know if you have a lot of like really quality posts uh, with a lot of value, you'll obviously get a lot more guys that will click through. If you just have like a link up there and you don't have any value, your click through rate will be quite low. So you can see even with like a very low click through through rate and a you know and all that, you can get a lot of good numbers and a lot of value um, off that right right there. Um, Considering the fact that again, if you leave like right here on the ranked lead one, you know the the responses and stuff that you have can last for months or even years, um, and you can get leads and sales for even years and years and years to come in in a, a lot in, you know in like a lot of the cases. Anything else, Sean? Before we give some cash away? No, I think we got them all covered. All right, guys, I'll give you maybe ten more sec seconds to do a, a, a post right here. And I'll refresh this. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, gonna refresh that page. All right. All right, now the proper one is on top. So that means people are posting the right one. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have, I'll, uh, I'll count the ones outside. So we have 33 here right now, plus some here. So I'll count the ones outside. We have one. We accidentally had some that posted outside right here. Um, two. So three, four. All right. All right. So four plus the ones from the post in the right place. Four plus 33, so we have 37 right now, so pretty good odds right here. So 37 right here, and we'll just see the last one just so I can make sure. It's, okay, so 37, and we'll go to random.org. Sean, what do you think the winner will be? One to 37. We'll do it live and random right here. Two. That'd be super easy. I would love it. I know that's not going to happen because that would be easy. 15, like right. Oh, in I was. <laughs> I don't know. Can't even take credit for not, not quite being close. close. All right. Um, so 15, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 
Pranay Mystery, I might be saying your name wrong, uh, that's you or looks like you or you look like one of those three guys right right there. Uh, congratulations, uh, you are $100 richer or you will be as soon as you post up your PayPal email to Sharon in the chat box. Just make sure to post up your PayPal email to uh, uh, Sharon and she'll make sure uh, to get that over to you uh, right away this afternoon. So once again, congratulations to Pranay Miss, Miss Mystery for being um, uh, this week's Wednesday Marketing Webinar winner. And once, once again, we have these calls every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, so make sure to join us next week. And next week, uh, we actually will have a guest speaker. Um, and that worked out great because uh, um, Sean and I have a pretty busy next week. We have a lot of stuff uh, going on and a lot of travel, so we thought it'd be a good time to bring, bring, on, bring on a guest there. Uh, um, so, and she'll basically be teaching about um, how to get sales even without having to pay for ads and stuff like that for a handful of products, more so on the e-com side. Uh, so, pretty interesting uh, uh, topic right there. So, if that's of interest, um, make sure to, to join us next week again at uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, you have, if you have any other questions that pop up or anything like that, feel free to reach out to us at support at webfire.com or use the help desk inside of the Webfire members site. So with that, guys, um, hope you have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you.